Hi Cancer Singles, this video is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and then also if you're spying on a Cancer, you're wondering what they're up to and what their love life looks like, so here we go. How do you see yourself in regards to love this month? Um, you're like, I don't have to defend my decisions or my actions or my choices. Not at all. I'm done doing that. I'm done making the mistakes from the past. I'm completely shutting the door and walking through a new one. Now, I have no idea what that looks like, but I do know that this is right for me. I know it with my mind. I know it with my gut. I know it with my heart. Good. Okay. How are others seeing you? Because you're kind of intense, guys. <laughs> How do others see you? All right. You know what's interesting? You know, I always find water signs intense. And Scorpio is very intense, right? Scorpios, actually, were like kind of mild this month. And you are taking on their intensity as far as water signs go. Okay. Um, how do others see you? Um, chill. They see you chill. But on the inside, you might not be, right? They see you as just like laying back, um, trying to save money. Maybe you're not going out as much. And maybe they're like... What's up with them, right? Like, don't they want to find love? Like, don't they want to have fun? Like, what's their deal? Um, they really see you as just, like, kind of, like, being content with the situation of being single, but not, like, in a fun, like, hey, I'm single kind of way. Just like, nope, I'm single. I got my cats. I got all this time to myself. That kind of thing. All right. So what should you be avoiding this month if you're trying to bring in love? Um, saying, you know, where I'm at is good enough without um, welcoming changes. There are some positive, like, really good changes that can come for you, but you might just be like, mm, I'm comfy with this. And But for your highest good, like, right now you are in the right place. Like, if you are single, it's because you were with somebody before that you had no business being with, right? Like, so being single in the first place is a good thing, but just don't get too comfortable there because, look, love... Da, 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 da. love at first sight like the kind of love where you're just like overflowing with it like that instant puppy love kind of stuff um that could that could be coming for you okay so you've got to avoid this feeling of like mm, this is good enough like I'm not open to love I guess is essentially what they're saying because what they're saying is you can manifest whatever you want so if you do want love like saying oh this is good enough like I'm content isn't enough like, start thinking about the things that you want and, like, what is fair to you more than anything. That's really important because some of you have been in super imbalanced relationships in the past. They're like, you're super smart now. You've been through some drama, but as a result, it makes you super clear on what you need on a spiritual level, on, like, an emotional level, on a mental level. Like, you know what your match should look like. And you can totally manifest it this month. Be really detailed if you're going to write down the qualities of a partner you're trying to um, bring in because that's actually a super helpful tool. Like you write down all of the things that you want and then every day you read it again and add to it. So, you know, maybe you watch a movie and, um, in the movie, the couple's doing tango and you're like, Oh, I always wanted to learn how to tango, even though it's like a non-applicable skill. You would write that down. I want a partner who will take dance lessons with me, right? Things like that. Okay. So what should what should you avoid? Interesting. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I need to get one more to make this super clear. Okay. Avoid delay tactics, like avoid taking actions, because a lot of you, you already know your soulmate. You already have experience with them. You might not be talking to them. You might not be thinking about them on purpose, but with a Mercury retrograde we're in right now until the 5th, but then the shadow period until halfway through September, you probably are, but maybe you're not. Um, <laughs> it's saying like, of, like, you shouldn't, okay, basically what it's saying here is waiting and waiting and waiting to connect with them 
to be coupled with them, to experience your happily ever after, because that's the person that was put on earth for you. Like, you know this in your gut, in your heart. Like, that just, what's the point? Why do you want to wait? Because you want to be more sure? You already know. You know in your soul. You might not know that in your mind, but you know it in your soul, and they're right there. They're right there. You probably have history with them. You maybe will meet them this month. But basically by saying, you know what, I kind of like being single. I like having all my alone time. Making excuses is dumb because later you're going to regret it. Now is the golden opportunity. That's interesting. Now that obviously can't be for everybody. That's the trouble with general readings. Like the uh, personal readings are always much more precise and accurate. But anyway, um, they're like, you know, you might be used to feeling a certain way and maybe feeling sad and then turning that sadness into contentedness. And, you know, if you do have um, history with that person, with somebody, and you know they're your soulmate and then you're like, oh, that might not work out again. Okay, but for those of you who aren't, like, you've been sad about it. You're slowly starting to come out of it, making investments in yourself, and it feels good. But just, it doesn't mean you can't continue to do that by welcoming somebody new into your life, right? So what's the overall outcome for you in the month of September? <laughs> it's a 50-50 split. Um, some of you, and here's how I get this, because I know some of you like to see the cards. And I, they weren't in this order. My apologies. But, so it's a 50-50 split, as indicated by the Justice card here. Some of you are not going to express love to others like at all others of you are going to reach out and you're going to do it um so for those of you who do what's the outcome for those of you who don't what is the outcome either way you're gonna end up fine <laughs> okay so if you don't reach out to this person that just like magically shows up in your life or you know there's somebody from the past if you don't want to communicate with them um you're still gonna be able to hold on to what you want but you're gonna have like this fear that you won't if you do reach out but you'll fall in love now if you don't reach out they'll reach out to you you'll end up marrying them or at least like in a very serious relationship at some point and you'll still have the time to invest in the things that you want to invest in. So what's the fear? You don't have to have this fear. You don't have to have those defense mechanisms that we started with. Like, it's saying, like, you don't have to defend yourself about what you're doing, about what your choices are, but you also don't need to have, like, defense mechanisms up that repel other people. Some other sign had this, too, and I don't remember what it was, but it's like, sometimes we build these walls around our heart because we're like, if I don't let you in, you can't hurt me, Right? But then I also can't, ex you can't love me either. Like I can't experience love and bonding and connection. So something to think about. Okay. Your overall lesson for the month of September, Cancers. Loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion, consistency, and of being. I love it. Okay. So... Love and light, and I am so excited to see what happens for you in September. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.